Good morning and welcome to the awards portion of the 41st Annual Young Writers Conference. My name is Tanya Nichols and once again, I have had the pleasure and the privilege of coordinating this fabulous event. Uh, there were some additional challenges this year, managing everything virtually, but it has all come together with the help and support of a lot of people. So I have a couple of reminders to help you get the most out of the Zoom format today. We will be spotlighting the main speakers and also have a short video. So we recommend speaker view for best viewing experience. Also, we have live um, captioning enabled. So if you notice at the bottom of your screen, it says live transcript. If you click on that and then turn on subtitles, if you need subtitles, that option is available to you. We do um, also invite you to use the reaction emojis at the bottom of the screen. Um, lots of hearts, lots of applause for the writers being celebrated. Uh, we invite you to use chat if you want to quote some of your favorite lines or offer praise. That option is available. Now, none of this would happen today without uh, tremendous support from the university and the community. So I have to take just a couple of minutes to give some shout outs of my own. So um, in case I fail to mention someone, there will be a, a list of sponsors running on the screen. So huge thank you to interim president, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval, the Dean of Arts and Humanities, Dr. Nora Chapman, and the chair of the English department, Dr. Melanie Hernandez. I am grateful for their continued support of creative writing. And of course, I have to thank Stephen Church, our MFA program coordinator, and my creative writing colleagues. Thank you as well to the Henry Madden Library and to the College of Arts and Humanities Advisory Board uh, for sponsoring a new award this year. Thank you to the Philip Levine Prize, Fresno Poets Association, the Normal School, Chicanx Writers and Artists Association, Hmong American Ink and Stories, and the San Joaquin Literary Association. I also want to thank our community sponsors, uh, Pacific Western Bank, the William Soroyan Society, Dr. Kareen House, Dr. Samina Najmi, Dr. Ray McKnight, Professor Andre Yang, the Fresno Area Council of English Teachers, and the San Joaquin Valley Writing Project. I'd, I'd like to add a note uh, about Dr. Ray McKnight. He is the founder of the Young Writers Conference, so I want to thank him for his forward thinking 41 years ago. And to spotlight that honor, this year we have established the Ray McKnight Award. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful to uh, Dr. McKnight and very happy that we now have the Ray McKnight Award. I also need to thank the English Department and Creative Writing Program staff who worked so hard to make all this come together. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Jefferson Beavers and Lisa Galvez. Uh, these people work tirelessly. And additional huge thanks to Corrine Wong Stack and Donna Moreno from the Alumni Association. They are helping to run our Zoom webinars today. And thank you to our graduate assistants for this year's conference, Rosie Bates, Miley's Carney, Sydney Hinton, and Jer Zhang. Finally, many, many thanks to the students in my English 166 editing and publishing class and the MFA students who served on the editorial board. They will also be taking the lead this afternoon during the workshop portion of the conference. This year, we did something different. We used a combination of MFA students and undergraduate publishing and edit editing students to serve as the editorial board. Now, in just a moment, we'll reveal the cover of this year's Spectrum Journal, and that was designed by student Evan Hill with selections of your writing as chosen by the editorial board. And now, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce you to our interim president, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval, who is a book lover, a specialist in Spanish language poetry and translation, and he has a few words of welcome for you. Please welcome President Jimenez Sandoval. Thank you, Professor uh, Nichols. It's a true pleasure and honor to be here. Um, I first and foremost want to welcome the high school teachers uh, who inspire our young writers to believe in themselves 
um, and who instruct them in the ways of our English language. And I say that very with, with full meaning, it's our English language. Uh, secondly, I also want to welcome the young writers uh, to this conference. These you, you uh, young writers are, are journeying into this journey of becoming, uh, writing for the most part, it's not a chore and it's not something that it's given to you and it's not something that just comes naturally to you. You have to work at it, you have to be intentional because writing, it's like identity. Uh, you have to develop an identity within your writing. Your writing is unique to you. Um, from uh, my time of being a dean before, I learned a lot from the linguistics professors who were forensics linguistics. Um, and they taught me one thing, and that is that we each have our own very specific style of writing. Only you choose those adjectives. Only you choose that syntax. Only you choose those themes that come out of both your paragraphs and then at the end, your essays or your creative works or your poems or whatever it might be. So within that, um, I really want to encourage these young writers to perceive and see writing as this, this, this process, this journey that never ends. Uh, my writing from 10 years ago is not the same as my writing from now because I'm not the same man that I was 10 years ago that I am now. Um, and you know, think of think of it sort of like a as a as a journey of becoming always in the process of never fully reaching the end because you don't want to reach the end. You want to continuously adapt and be creative and be dynamic and discover your interests and yourselves, which ultimately lead you to discovering yourself. And in discovering yourself, you discover your place in society as well. And then at that point, you give back to society with a full heart. You give back to society in making it all better for every one of us. So I, again, I want to acknowledge the, the teachers uh, who make it happen in the classroom, who inspire our students, who encourage our students. I want to thank our students. I want to welcome our students who will become bulldogs in the future. I'm sure of that. Um, who are in this journey of, of becoming, of writing, of discovering themselves, discovering the world, and discovering how they will contribute to this world as well. Uh, finally, I want to thank Professor Tanya Nichols for doing a labor of love uh, through, this, through this incredible uh, Young Writers Conference. Um, it is through her uh, efforts that this happens each and every year, and I really want to acknowledge that. I also want to thank the Chair of English, Dr. Melanie Hernandez, She's doing an incredible job as chair. And of course, I want to thank uh, my dear friend, the Dean of Arts and Humanities, Dr. Nora Chapman as well. Um, and lastly, I want to thank Dr. Reg McKnight, uh, a very good dear friend of mine, uh, who has now uh, has a, an award uh, with the Young Writers. Uh, and of course, such legacy that, that he established this, this program for us. So have fun, keep writing, and we'll see you here as a Bulldog. Thanks so much. Thank you, President Imena Sandoval. Uh, it is now my pleasure to introduce you to the chair of the English department, Dr. Melanie Hernandez. Uh, Dr. Hernandez, by the way, is the first woman of color to serve as the chair of the English department. And uh, it is my pleasure to welcome her. Please welcome Dr. Hernandez. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Melanie Hernandez. I'm the chair of the English department at Fresno State. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you this morning to this year's Young Writers Conference. Um, the Young Writers Conference is always one of the most eagerly anticipated events um, in the English department. First, we're all here because we share similar enthusiasm writing. But we really love this event because it brings together so many people from across Central California to showcase our enormous local talent and to celebrate the diversity that is one of our greatest resources. And as a woman of color chairing the English department, seeing diverse representation is especially meaningful to me. Um, it's important that we have so many different voices making their experiences known. So with no further ado, I hope you're excited for a full slate of events that we have planned for you today. I'm excited about Nick Stone. Um, welcome to Fresno State. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hernandez. Thank you, Dr. Hernandez. Sadly, we did not receive um, the shipment of Spectrum in time to get the journals to you before today. There, there were some shipping delays, but in a 
we can show you the cover and it's, it's gorgeous. Isn't it fantastic? And once again, um, I'd like to announce that the cover design is by student Evan Hill. His work was selected from several original designs uh, from the publishing and editing class. So I'd like to say congratulations to Evan. We will be shipping boxes to your school sometime next week. So please be on the lookout for those. Uh, they will include all of the winning pieces uh, as well as some honorable mentions. Uh, there was a bit of an extra challenge managing submissions this year remotely. Uh, in January, I wasn't sure it could even happen, but um, it really did come together. Basically, every submission that came in um, had to be linked to a spreadsheet so that it could be read by multiple readers and scored. And then the editorial board had to come together remotely. None of us were ever in the same room together and uh, debate and choose those pieces that do appear in Spectrum. What I want you to know uh, to everyone who submitted, whether your work appears in the journal or not, you are all winners, every one of you. You're doing a brave thing when you share your words and your ideas uh, with the world. So keep doing that, it, it matters. And now we have a video recording of the awards presentation and it is led by two of our MFA students, Rosie Bates and Miley's Carmen. Please welcome Rosie and Miley's. Hello everyone, my name is Miley Carney. I'm a graduate student in Fresno State's Masters of Fine Arts program in Creative Writing. On behalf of Professor Tanya Nichols and the English Department, I'd like to welcome you to the virtual awards presentation for the 41st Annual Young Writers Conference. Helping me present these awards today is my fellow Fresno writer, Rosie Bates. Hello, I'm Rosie Bates and I am also a grad student in the Fresno State MFA program. Mylise and I are excited to recognize the extraordinary voices in this latest generation of young writers from throughout Central Valley. While we could not gather this year inside the Satellite Student Union on campus to celebrate, we hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to drop your comments into the chat as we go along to cheer for our award winners. First, we honor those who teach creative writing in our area schools. This year's winners of the San Joaquin Valley Writing Project Teachers Awards are Lori Jones from Mission Oak High School in Tulare, and Jerry Lynn Cavanaugh from Edison High School in Fresno. Congratulations, teachers. Thank you for mentoring young writers. And now I am happy to present the first part of our student awards. These include a cash prize plus publication spectrum. The winners are Kane Sjoberg from University High School for Eucalyptus. This piece wins the new Wendy Rose Award in honor of the poet and educator. Next is Kylie Roberts from Washington Union High School for Red. This piece wins the new Shirley Ann Williams Award in honor of the late poet. Next is Miguel A. Viegas from King City High School for How to Play a Guitar. This piece wins the new H. Ray McKnight Award in honor of the conference's founder. Next is Mally Yang from Edison High School for the Mekong River for the Hmong American Writers Circle Award. Next are two winners for the Chigonex Writers and Artists Association Awards. The first is Ernesto Bustinza from Edison High School for always be grateful for what you have. And the second is Nicole Nunez from Mission Oak High School for En La Tumba de 202. Congrats to you all. And now the second part of our student awards. These also include a cash prize plus publication and spectrum. The winners are Gianna Cardenas from Mission Oak High School for Color Me and Call Me a Rainbow for the San Joaquin Literary Association Award. Next is Mariana Rubio from Tulare Western High School for The Believers, The Deniers, and The Heroes for the MFA Award from the Creative Writing Program. Next is two winners for the FACET Award from the Fresno Area Council of English Teachers. 
The first is Nyanza Williams from Edison High School for Achilles heel. And the second is Jeffrey Wilson from Voyager Secondary School for From Streets to Cells. Next is two winners for the Mong American Ink and Stories Award. The first is Emily Vang from Edison High School for Encyclopedia Autobiography. And the second is Tangelo Nguyen from University High School for the piece of. Next is Jordan Jackson from Edison High School for Love for an Unjust Country for the Philip Levine Prize Award. Many congratulations to you all. And now to the third part of our student awards. These also include a cash prize plus publication and spectrum. The winners are Eden Bernstein from Edison High School for October's Black Cat for the Normal School Award. Next is Giovanni Oliveros from King City High School for FASMID for the Fresno Poets Association Award. Next are two winners for the Mia Barraza Martinez Awards for social justice writing. The first is Samara Valencia from Mission Oak High School for Lucky Strike. And the second is Cadence Dooms from University High School for A Prayer for My Country. Next is Nicole Nunez from Mission Oak High School for Tale as Old as Time for the William Sororian Award. Next is Abadala Hamuda from Edison High School for Elixir of Funk for the Chairs Award from the English Department. Congratulations to you all. And finally, our top student awards for the best poetry and prose we read this year. These all include a cash prize plus publication and spectrum. The winners are Candace Sanchez from King City High School for We Live in a Country for the Dean's Award from the College of Arts and Humanities. Next is Michaela Kors from Tulare Western High School for Beza for the new College of Arts and Humanities Advisory Board Award. Next is two winners for the Henry Madden Library Awards. The first is Stephanie Gutierrez from Mission Oak High School for the Perpetual Problems of Immortality. And the second is Katie Zhang from University High School for I Too Sing America. Next is Shania Unwa Chuklu from Mission Oak High School for The Fanatic for the University's Provost Award. And the highest honor at this year's Young Writers Conference goes to Ryan Orm from Edison High School for On Love and Boyhood for the University's President's Award. Congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of you for your outstanding contributions to creative writing in the Central Valley. Thank you for joining us for this virtual award ceremony to mark the 41st annual Young Writers Conference at Fresno State. On behalf of the English department and the university, we wish you good health and good writing in the year to come. We hope to see you back on campus in 2022. Thank you, Miley and Rosie, and congratulations to all of you uh, young writers. Um, I, I was blown away by the quality of your work. It's, it's um, outstanding, it's really grand. So um, now it is my pleasure to introduce you to the Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, who has some final remarks uh, for you as you embark on the rest of your virtual Young Writers Conference journey. So please welcome Dean Nora Chapman. Thank you so much, Professor Nichols. You all should know that she's devoted countless hours to constructing this amazing virtual event. And with alongside her is Jefferson Beavers, who has been doing this wonderful technical assistance, allowing you all to join us today. Welcome to virtual Fresno State. You see behind me our Peace Garden. I chose this as my background this morning, not only because the Peace Garden represents Fresno State's values as a place that fosters peace and social justice, because the people celebrated in this garden include Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr. behind me, Cesar Chavez, and Jane Addams, 
Soon to be added to them is Nelson Mandela. This garden is a beautiful space for you to come and contemplate your next writing project. Why do I say that? Because on that bank of windows in our gorgeous Madden Library is the most remarkable room that you should visit the moment we open up again for the public. It's called the Philip Levine Reading Room. It's open Monday through Friday from eight to four. And in that gorgeous space, you can sit in a desk and look out the broad bank of windows, contemplate the peaceful garden and think of your next project. In addition to the beautiful view is Philip Levine, the marvelous US Poet Laureate's own personal library and photographs as well. I envision all of you someday having your own library. Now, I'm a Luddite, I have books and covers, but I think you in the 21st century are going to have a different type of book and you're, because writing and implements and the, and the storage of our thoughts has changed. We've gone from scrolls to, to the book of a codex and we've moved to the Kindle and something else is going to come in your lifetime. I'm certain of it, but you will be the producers of it. And that's what's so exciting. The other thing to know about the, the implementation of writing on papyrus in particular around the year 500 BC is that this is exactly when the democratic movement started. This is exactly when governments allowed the people to have a voice, a radical voice in their decision-making across the Mediterranean and beyond. This goes, this sweeps according to the experts from India westward. Therefore, you must view yourselves as writers, as part of this democracy. Your voice shapes the future. Your writing changes things. And that's why Nick Stone is such a brilliant keynote today because in her book as I wrote to you in Spectre magazine her character Justice McAllister in her book called Dear Martin says I need to pay more attention Martin start really seeing stuff and writing it down figure out what to do with it your teachers have taught you how to write it's now your job to figure out what to do with your writing. And we hope that you'll join us at Fresno State. I see a bunch of professors on this Zoom, great writers. They will help you hone your craft. You can grow at Fresno State because as the motto of the creative writing is, we grow writers. This valley grows writers like nothing else in the country. We celebrate that and we want you to join us because finally in the same library, is a Laureate Lab Wordless Studio. And you can come and create words with art all day long, if you wish, once we're open again. It's a fun space. You can come as a high school student and you can stay as a college student. Join us and have a wonderful rest of your day celebrating these awards. Congratulations, award winners, especially the new Arts and Humanities Advisory Board Award because that was a labor of love by our advisory board, as well as the Ray McKnight Award, because he is a dearly beloved professor. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Chapman. Now, we will have a short break. I know everybody is excited to hear and, and see Nick Stone, and uh, we have um, about an hour before that happens. So, uh, Get some water, stretch your legs, and meet back here uh, for the Nick Stone uh, keynote address at 1015. Again, thank you all for joining us for the 41st Annual Young Writers Conference. And thank you, high school teachers, uh, for doing the, the work of love and keeping it all together uh, through this difficult past year. I'm, I'm in awe of all of you. So thank you everyone for uh, participating this year.